Governor Moore, thank you so much for visiting the Eastern Shore today. Is this your first time here as governor? Uh, first time as governor? Yes. yes. I spent quite a bit of time uh, on the campaign trail here, and I said to people, I said, you know, listen, uh, you know, you get used to it because uh, I'm gonna be spending quite a bit of time here. And we have not been in office a month yet and already uh, spending the day out here. But I want folks to know this is what they should expect. We're gonna be spending a lot of time out here because I believe in this state with all of my heart. And I believe that in the, for the state to do what it needs to do, it means the Eastern Shore is gonna play a key, key leadership role. That's right, and you got to see a taste of history today and the future. But can you tell us about Harry Tubman today? What, what did you get to see there? You know, I, I, I think about one of the beauties of, of this state is you can't understand the journey of this country without understanding the journey of Maryland. And you can't understand the journey of Maryland without understanding the journey of the Eastern Shore. And by getting a chance to go out to the Harriet Tubman uh, uh, Museum, uh, Museum of Culture and History, and actually go through archeological findings, uh, pieces and things that were there as she was one of the architects, one of the conductors on the Underground Railroad, uh, it, it was uh, it was mind blowing, and just reminds us how remarkable the arc and this journey is that this state is on and, and continues to be on. Yeah, and now you got to see a taste of the history of school and the future of school. Yeah. What was it like visiting one of the most beautiful schools in Queens County and Maryland? I love it, and one of the largest. Yeah. Hi guys. The students were waving. The, the, the kids were waving right there. They were so excited. Yes, <laughs> I, I was so excited to see them. I mean, I can't think of a better way to come spend a day, right? I mean, you have some of the best leadership in the state of Maryland here, some of the best, uh, the superintendent, the, the principals, the educators, and some of the best students. I love being out here and I love seeing what's happening in Queen Anne's County because also it is really a pace setter mm -hmm. for everything that can and should be happening throughout the entire state. All right, now you, you allowed me two hardballs, right? Yep, many as you want. You drove across the Bay Bridge today. <laughs> what do you think of a what do you think of a replacement span, and uh, what's the future of that look like for Maryland? Well, I mean, we we have the study going on right now, uh, and I guess we're gonna we're gonna see what the study comes comes back with. The thing that I I, I do know is that the traffic concerns and the congestion concerns um, it is an issue. I heard it all throughout the campaign trail, uh, over and over and over while I was on the yeah, campaign oh, trail, sure. especially and, here in Queen Anne's County, right? Especially here in Queen Anne's County, and, and also and also the the, the challenge of it both ways, right? Yeah. Where there's also the concern of how increased traffic and what that's going to mean for Queen Anne's County. So I think as we're going through the study right now, we'll be able to examine what is going to be the right solution. Uh, the only thing that I do know is that there will be no solution that's going to happen to Queen Anne's County. Mm -hmm. It needs to be a solution that happens in partnership with Queen Anne's County. And that's my pledge. Last hardball. Super, yeah. super hard. Yeah. This is going to air afterwards, so feel okay. safe in answering. <laughs> okay. What's your Valentine's Day night plans? <laughs> I was going to say, I can't technically say because it's still a surprise for my wife. She won't see this. But she won't see it until afterwards. Since she well, says unless it's not unless air. someone's filming this, yeah. Yeah, unless she's not going to air. No, fair, no, fair point. We got this. So, so she knows that I'm going to pick her up at 6.30. She does not yet know what restaurant we're taking her mm -hmm. to. But I'm picking her up. We're taking her to a, uh, we're taking to a, a restaurant. And actually, we have a few of her friends that are going to be there waiting for her as an additional surprise. But again, she knows none of that. So please do not well, air this until her. after. Yeah, I won't tell please. Mrs. Hershey either. That's right. <laughs> Well, that's my other Valentine. <laughs> that's right. I love that's right. Mrs. Hershey. Yes. Well, I love her son too. Yeah. And, and I and I say too, Senator Hershey is a remarkable legislator and just a remarkable human being. But also, he is remarkable because he comes from a fantastic mom. Yeah. So I, I adore her, and she is my she is my other Valentine. All right. Fair enough. Very proud, Governor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.